Okay, so uh, let's work on the on the neck. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my edge level. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of the Nerm subdivision for now. <coughs> and uh, uh, let's see. I wanna throw in another edge loop here on the side. So just gonna select this edge, same thing, ring, and then connect. So once I have this, uh, we can just start shaping it a little bit more. Uh, maybe move this guy back a little, something like that. Select these vertices, move them up, give it some roundness, you know. And select this guy, move it forward. Yeah, so this way, you know, I'm getting a loop which is kind of going in this direction, you know. And let's see um what i'm going to do is select this edge here and then remove it uh, don't worry we ended up having um, a multiple sided polygon but we're going to fix that and this case we have let's see one two three four five six sided so what i'm going to do is go to my vertex mode select these two vertices and connect them okay so we have a quad here and we have a quad here all right looks okay to me so far and let's now uh, go to the polygon mode select these polygons uh, oops select these guys here hold down the control key select these guys here at the bottom so this would be where the neck is going to start from what I'm going to do is delete these polygons and then going in my edge mode I'm going to select all these open edges so one by one holding down the control key And before you extrude this out, just, you know, look around and make sure you have the right selection set here. Uh, once you know you have proper selection, I'm going to hold down the shift key and then drag it down like that. <clears throat> okay. And it's kind of a uh, uh, weird shape at the bottom. So the quick way uh, I usually fix this is I keep my selection make sure you don't lose the selection uh, you can lock it if you like and then I change my viewport I go to the top view uh, and, and if you change that by using the right mouse button you will still keep your selection and then over here under the edit geometry rollout there is a button called view align when you do that it's going to align my selection to the selected viewport in this case the top view and it's kind of uh, helping uh, straightening everything out and we're just ready to you know start shaping it again all right so i'm going to unlock my selection because we need to work on some other set of vertices and just start you know moving things around let's see this looks good this looks good maybe move these guys back a little bit something like that this can go back okay I'm gonna change the viewport let's see in the top view move these vertices move this guy inward like that okay and then let's go to the perspective window try to give it a round shape so move these guys forward this guy is backward and let's see something like that Let's 
see. This is uh, okay, even though it doesn't look uh, um, the way we want it because there are not enough details to work with. So what we can do is add another edge loop. Uh, I'm just going to select this edge here. Uh, sorry, wrong one. Uh, let me deselect. Select this edge here, do a ring, and then connect. Okay, go back to the vertex mode and start moving these vertices around like that alright so since we have more details to to work with you know we can uh, give the neck better shape now again you know I don't want to spend too much time here uh, trying to um, make it like the proper shape because the idea here is to show you the technique and the more time you spend on the model uh, the better results you know so yeah turn on uh, your favorite music and uh, just keep having fun with this uh, but for now let's just take a quick look and see um, using the subdivisions you know uh, how the neck turns out and so far it's it's looking pretty decent so there you go we have some neck to the character and uh, go ahead and spend more time on it you know fix the shape see you next time